Hello and welcome. And of course, thank you so much for all your amazing support. As some of you might know, I've been uploading my painting videos in this channel for a few years now. One comment that I always receive is regarding the brushes that I use in my paintings. You see, most of the brushes that I use are not free. Some of them are brush bags that are sold online, while others came with the books that I purchased, and of course, some which I personally made myself. I always believe the best way to learn something is by understanding the fundamentals and the core process of the topic. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own custom brush. I'll be using Photoshop in this tutorial, but the basic idea of creating custom brushes should be similar with other painting softwares. First, we need to take a photo of a cloud preferably one that shows the cloud silhouettes clearly. I find it is best to take the cloud photo in a bright sunny day, as the contrast between blue sky and white cloud will greatly help in the next step. Let's select part of the cloud that we want to convert to a brush. Press Ctrl C to copy them to the clipboard. Then, open a new document and set the size to be around 512 x 512 pixels. Press Ctrl V to paste the copy photo into the new document. If the selected photo is still too large, scale down by using the transform tool. Next, we will desaturate the photo into a black and white image. Through the menu options, Image, Adjustment, Desaturate. Because black is opaque and white is transparent for brushes, we need to invert the photo by going to Image, Adjustment, Invert. Then adjust the contrast by using either the Curves tool or the Levels tools. Adjust the photo so the cloud is near black and the background is fully white. It is important to make sure the background is pure white, as any shade of grey as a brush will produce semi-transparent pixels. Once we are satisfied with the result, go to Edit, Define Brush Preset. Under the Brushes tab, we will see the new brush tip shape we just created. But this is still a brush without any settings. Currently, it will work more like a stamping tool. So go to Brush Settings and enable Shape Dynamics. Size Cheater option will randomize the brush tip size as we paint. Choose Pen Pressure for control, which lets us control the brush size via pen pressure. Minimum diameter option will ensure a minimum size for the brush tip. So let's increase it a little bit as we don't want our cloud to be too small. Angle jitter will randomize the brush tip rotation. So we just want to increase this value slightly to add some variation to our brush. I usually leave the control option off for angle. But you can try to enable them by using direction or initial direction. Rounders Jitter will randomize the height of the brush tip as we paint. We will slightly increase this value to add some variation to our brush. Leave the control option off as well. Remember to adjust the minimum rounders too. Lastly, enable the Flip X Jitter option. This will flip the brush tip in the X axis randomly. We will leave the Flip Y Jitter option off as you don't want an upside down cloud brush. Next, let's enable scattering. Check both axis option and increase the scatter value. Scatter option will let us control the random positioning of the brush tip as we paint. Another option that we can enable is transfer. We can enable the print pressure for opacity and flow jitter to control the transparency of our brush but I usually leave this option off and turn them on when needed. When we are satisfied with the settings, click on this small menu icon on the brush panel. Then select New Brush Preset. Now we have created a new brush with all the settings needed. We can delete the previous brush by clicking this trash bin icon. Let's do some quick painting with the brush we have just created.
you might be wondering on how to create other types of brushes, such as a leaf brush. Well, the steps are very similar. Copy and paste the photo in a new document. Desaturate the photo. In this case, we don't want to invert the photo, as the leaves are already black and the background is white. So, let's just adjust the contrast to make sure the background is pure white. Because I only cropped a part of the photo, I'm going to need to make some adjustments to make it a complete brush without any cut edge. Then, go to Define Brush Preset to convert it into a brush and proceed to adjust the options in Shape Dynamics and Scattering. One extra option that we can enable for the leaves brush is Color Dynamics. Use Pen Pressure for control and lower down Hue, Saturation and Brightness Jitter. Now our leaves brush will paint with background and foreground colors based on pen pressure. Let's do some quick painting with the brush we have just created. Here's another example of cloud brush which I created using the same method. Convert the photo into a black and white image and invert the color. Adjust the contrast so the background is pure white. Then make it into a new brush preset with custom settings. A round cloud brush like this is good for painting summer cumulus clouds. Here are some artworks that I have done. I'm <laughs> sorry. 